Hi everyone, it's Marie here again. Uh, today I'm going to um, show you some of my journals and what I do with them because sometimes people ask um, on Facebook, you know, if, if people actually used the journals and how they use them. So I'm just going to share a few of mine that are either full or ongoing at the moment. So these are my three massively chunky full ones. And then over here, I'll just move my camera. Over here, I've got a box with some more filled, filled journals there. And I'll show you what sort of things are in them in a little while when I get around to them. So first of all, um, these very, very chunky ones. Um, I've got. These are kind of my three favourite things. Um, I'm going to say they're all full, so I'm going to have to start um, maybe... Well, definitely on two of them I need to start a new one. I'm not sure about this seven one because um, I might have put everything I wanted to put in there. But I've got one here, which is um, what I call um, Just So Stories, because that was the title of the book that I altered to, to make it. And that's um, all things about my grandchildren in there just over the past um months really because um i've only been making journals for about a year now and i never really thought about journaling before um so it's only since i've started making them that i've started um using them really and even then it's probably not for the whole 12 months probably maybe about about nine months or something like that i've been using journals and i've uh, filled quite a few already so um, and it does get a, li a little bit addictive as many of you probably know um, so yeah I've got one for the, my grandkids which I'm going to start another one soon I've got one it's my sewing journal because that was um, one of my favourite things um, I still love sewing I did a lot of sewing before I started making journals and also uh, this is a travel one and I love travelling uh, well, that one's full I'm going to have to start a new one of them on my next trip so we'll look at them one at a time and you can have a look at sort of things put in. So I'll go through this um, grandkids one first. I say the book was called Just So Stories. It was a Rudyard Kipling book. And it was my first and only attempt at an altered book. I mean, I've used the covers of quite a lot of books, but I've never, um, since I've never, um, you know, took the pages out and used the pages. And you can see this one, I don't know if you can see that, it's actually um, starting to come apart on the on the spine because it's chocker but I I like it I just like the look of it and the feel of it when it's like that so the type of things I put in here are just whenever I do anything with the kids or the kids do something you know memorable then uh, I put a little note of it in here and there's uh, and put photographs in so I've got lots of like animal um, images in here because the book was about was about animals and uh, I say just photographs and some photographs I've found that I've forgotten about and just different things. Trips to the zoo, um, football. Uh, I've got my, just a couple of my grandkids to write. Write me a couple of little notes in there. Um, just different things. Visiting my daughter who lives, who doesn't live nearby so we, we don't see her as often. Um, yeah, so that's the type of thing, all, all kids' photographs, really. It's just totally dedicated to the kids. Done another trip out there. My grandson's birthday, which was a few weeks ago. So that's full. So um, with Christmas coming up, I'll be starting a new one and starting to fill it with um, memories of the grandkids. So that's that one. I shall put that down there out of the way. And then my sewing one, I have actually shared this one before, so some of you might have seen it, but um, this is really chunky as well. Um, this is one of my first journals I ever made. And, um, initially I didn't make it for myself, but then I decided to keep it for myself. And I say, I, I used to do a lot of sewing. I used to make bags and quilts and makeup bags and kind of like wedding um wedding ring pillows and all those sorts of things and I used um, 
obviously fabrics and used in that, that process a lot of doilies and old embroidery and things like that so i've just gathered samples really and snippets that, um, to remind me of the type of things that i used to do so quilting was a big thing that i did at one time so i've got like all um how to quilting techniques and things and then i've got some of my scraps of quilting fabrics in here swatches um, patchwork and quilt my quilting dress patterns dress so uh, it's not i did used to make clothes when i was a teenager but it's not something i've done in recent times um and i used to make bags with a lot of this lovely uh, linen fabric and then i had a go at one time of doing uh, free motion embroidery uh, applique and then free motion embroidery and i think this is probably my best effort at that so that's that's in there and i also had to go at free motion quilting on actual quilt so there's just a couple of practice pieces with all the kind of squiggly lines for the free motion and just different things that i've used um it's like a fabric book i'm sure i made that and then um i say i used to use um doilies and pieces of embroidery and stuff you know, to to embellish things that i made before like bags and makeup bags and things so these are some samples that i've kept of them that i really like um, and then when i used to make um like wedding ring pillows i'd make them with hessian and satin and lace and applique so that's all uh um, yeah so just different things really oh and uh, soft furnishings are a thing at one time as well so i've got some things from a book in there some soft furnishing fabric swatches this is when i was going through my um shabby chic phase so that's uh about it really there are empty pages left in here but so i don't really think i've got much else that i can put in it but um there's something i like to get out every now and again and have a look and I, I, I love the feel of it and i you know just maybe it's just me so i you know i wrote little bits about you know each kind of aspect of what i did and things like that just just like a record really so that's that one and then my other love which is another chocker journal which only two two trips is uh travel this is the journal i made i think this was a book but i just took the, the guts out of it and left it as it was i made this ages ago it's supposed to be like a um um art deco theme with this dark art deco fabric and um, paper on the images but i turned oh i'm so sorry but i turned it into uh um i turned it into a travel journal just put some stickers on it it didn't take long for this to get filled up because i like to collect uh, maps and tickets and things i've always collected them sort of things but um they usually just go in a box so from now on they're going to be going in a in a journal so that's uh, some maps and things from rome and then just write from day to day what we did when we were away um let's say tickets brochures um when we went to canada some canadian canadian dollars um some tickets and things in there just you know just a daily record of um what went on while we were away maps again lots of maps and brochures and there's loads of pages left in this um but i don't think i'm going to be able to fit much else in it because it's a it's quite chunky so i'm probably gonna probably gonna start another one but um or um, what I might do is I might um, use a small, like a thin journal, kind of a traveller's notebook style, and then just slot it into there, just loose. That might work. So I might do that. And then uh, another one you might have seen before is a journal that I got in a swap, which I actually use to record swaps that I've done through um, Junk Journal Junkies on Facebook. So this was uh, one of the swaps that I, I got, and I just record swaps in here and um just write about the swap and who was with and if they sent anything i make a note of um extra things and 
photographs of my journal and their journal go in there. I mean, this is not full, but I'm not um, I'm not really um want to do any swaps just just at the minute because um I've got quite a lot of swap journals and um besides this one I haven't used. Oh, I have. Yeah, I'm using a traveler's notebook at the moment that I've got in um. I'll just I'll show you in a minute. I'm using a couple of swap ones in there, Traveller's Notebooks, but um, all the other journals that I've got, I'm not using them, and I, I'm not really sure what to do with them. So, so I'm going to leave swaps for a while anyway. Okay, so that's that one. And then I use um, I have a daily kind of like a process um, process journals that I use. These are all ones that I've. Um, that I've filled up. I think this was my very first one. Just full of daily tasks and what I've done and if I buy anything I keep receipts and if I sell anything I keep um, a record of the sales. There's, these are all little ones that I've made and I've just uh, decided to use them as process journals. And there's another one. And then I've used, um, I started using traveller's notebooks as my process journal um, these are two that I've bought from uh, that was Zoe Tofield uh, no that was Zoe Tofield and I think this was Leah uh, Leah Jessica um, Harris I think I bought them from and again I've just um, just filled them with um, you know what's going on in the day mainly to do with crafting um, I've kept receipts and invoices, all that kind of thing. So that's them. And then I did have them in my um, in my cover, but um, I had three in there, but it was getting too full, so I took took them out. Um, I've just got two in there now. And this is a cover that I made a while ago. It wasn't the best. It wasn't perfect. It was my first go. But it's standing up really well to the kind of daily riggers. And these are ribbons. If if I get any ribbons with um, Traveller's Notebooks that I've bought or swapped, I'm just tying on there. And I made myself some beads. A bead dangle. A bookmark, really. Some beads and some... My name in beads there. And in here at the moment, I've got this little book. This was um, a little extra that I got in a swap that I did with somebody. And as well as the journal that we swapped, they also popped in this little um, nice little notebook there and this is one of my um, little folders that I make uh, the double pocket folders that keep all the receipts and everything in there and this is a swap journal that I'm using at the moment this is my latest one that I'm working on just now uh, as I say just recording daily stuff and and this was a swap from uh, Frid Fridgerd who I think is from Denmark and it was a travel there's no book travel themed uh, swap that we did and that's that one and then this is a swap I did with Anita it was a private swap uh, Anita Guthrie that was through uh, Junk Channel Junkies so um, this is going to be my next one that I'll be using when I finish this one and keep them in my in my folder so that's my kind of daily process ones uh, yeah that's everything really as regards um kind of my ones that I'm using at the moment and I was saying I've got quite a lot of swap journals so these are all the swaps that I've done um these are all swaps this little one here is one I actually bought off Moira Moira MacDonald Moira, yeah sorry I hope that's right um uh, this is one I made which I'm probably going to be using soon soon and this is um a giveaway that I won uh from Edwina Edwina Kinch and then at the back there, there's all the swap ones that I've done. I uh, can't remember who they're all with now. I think this was um, Marie Claire in, from France. Um, that one was, I think, Michelle, Michelle Nowacki. This is one of uh, Karen O'Reilly, uh, Wendy Connors Beckett. And this is one of Maureen, in the, uh, Autumn, one of Maureen Thompson. And then this one I think I did a long time ago. 
the lady in America. Um, I think it was Cynthia, Cynthia Hind. And then this is another one with Marie, Marie Claire. We've done two swaps. And this one is Lisa Mays. That was the um, denim blue jeans swap. So they're all um, possibles to be used in the future. But a lot of them, you know, they're just jam packed full of stuff. And I'd have to, um, I'd, you know, I wouldn't really want to. But if I wanted to use them, some of them I'd have to take a lot of the stuff out before I could use them. But uh, yeah, this little little tiny one here, I think that was Linda, Linda Cockrum. Such a cute little one that. So I love them two little ones there. One swap and one bought. So yeah, that's it, I think. Um, so just for people who are interested in how we actually um, use our journals and, you know, whether we use them. So the only person I didn't mention in a swap was this uh, this one I used for my swaps, which was made by Emma Garrett. So these are all people, obviously, who are on um, Facebook Junk Journal Junkies. All the lovely ladies out there in this uh, lovely community. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight in what I do with my journals anyway. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye.